Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here. This video was made for the third Saturday Art Hop and this event is hosted by Martha I Love to Paint, also known as Ayala Art, ably assisted by the lovely Mona Creates. All links to the other creators will be in the description box below this video and also in, pinned in the comments section as well. So this is a, a very sad time for a lot of us uh, who are um, loyalists, who love the royal family. And uh, I have to admit I am one of them, so um, it's been a very, very sad time. Um, so obviously, being a royalist, <laughs> um, I decided to make this video um, as a little homage to... Um, Her Majesty the Queen, now sadly passed, and um, I took a, it's not going to be an except like this, because A, I don't think I'm that good yet, <laughs> still practicing, it's been years and years and years of practice, and um, I can come up with a passable likeness, um, I feel, you know, I hope you can recognise her um, by the end of the video. Um, I've also... Uh, I had to um, alter the one eye a little bit towards the um, towards the end of the video. I actually pick up, pick it up. It's always good when you draw just to pick it up and have a look at it flat on, because when it's lying down on a surface and you're drawing, it looks to be okay, and then you, when you pick it up, it's not quite. It's, you know, it's not the perspective isn't quite right. So um, yeah. I'm looking at a picture and draw, drawing what I see, I hope. And uh, and there we go. I didn't quite, um, in the painting, I didn't quite finish off the hat or anything like that. Uh, um, it's a 15 minute video and it's very difficult, even when um, the speed is super fast, uh, to try and get everything in in a reasonable time whilst still having a video that you can see. Uh, yes. I'm sorry if I could say uh, a lot. Maybe you want to count them and let me know how many I do. <laughs> I want to do this in one take because I'm not feeling 100%. So uh, it's a one take voiceover with all the mistakes and errs and ums because I'm not sure that I'll bother to edit them out. I might do, but um, I may do. Because <laughs> I just did another... Um, oh. So, so I'm going to talk here a little bit about the painting, which I don't normally do because, as I say, I'm not I'm not a big, great artist or anything like that. But I hope to make a passable likeness. It's taken me years to be able to do a passable likeness. And um, I'm using a purple here. It, well, for a start, I'm using the Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2. And um, I don't know exactly. I do have the the crayons in front of me and uh, I may have put that one back in the box but it's probably it's probably maybe the purple I used is oh periwinkle blue it's um quite a dark um looks dark on screen it isn't as dark as that in real life and um yeah so I did that for you know the really deep shadows in her face and then I um, and then I decided to do the hat and that so you could see more of her shape as, as it develops. And um, what colour? What colour? What colour? I think I'm using here a, a brown. And uh, just to add more shadows. So um, let's see if I can actually see what colour brown this one is. It just says brown. <laughs> so the colour is brown. <laughs> And um, and then I go on to use a salmon pink for the actual skin tone of what you know skin tone is left, and I do a couple of layers of that to darken it up. Um, one thing about the Queen is is that um, in all the great stories that you're hearing about about her now, is uh, that she had a most wonderful sense of humour, and um, and and quite a lot you can see in. Uh, you can see in um, uh, the video footage that they're all playing at the moment that that is quite true. You know, in a lot of them, she's laughing and giggling and having a, a jolly good time. <laughs> in fact, um, 
not many people know this, but my husband uh, received an MBE from the Queen uh, in the year 2000, in the year 2000, in the honours list then for um, services. And uh, yeah, and uh, that was uh, quite an exciting time for both of us. I went to the palace with him for the investiture and uh, on, on his, um, uh, when he received his uh, MBE, let's see, it was Julie Andrews got her, her dame and um, became a dame and also Liz Taylor. So we were sat uh, a little bit behind Julie An Andrews and Elizabeth Taylor. And, uh, and to, be, to be honest with you, Elizabeth Taylor is as beautiful <laughs> then um, as, uh, as she always was. You know, even even as an older lady. <laughs> Sorry, my speaker just turned off. Um, so I've just got it back. So, Elizabeth Taylor. Um, what you didn't see on the cameras when uh, uh, it, the clips of the investiture was shown is that she was actually in a wheelchair. She was wheeled in in a wheelchair, but refused to um, receive her. Her dame, her, her, I don't know, I can't quite remember what it's called now. Anyway, when she was a maid of dame, she refused to be in the chair. <laughs> so I think, you know, she was helped to go towards the Queen so she could receive her honour. And uh, oh, here you can see I'm looking at the eye and realise it's uh, not quite right. So I've actually gone over it again. And I do go over it a little bit. The trouble with this is I didn't, I'm not using watercolour paper. I'm just using a drawing paper so you know there are a few buckles and that in the, the paper from the watercolour I wish now that I'd actually use watercolour paper which is a free and yeah so I'm going over the eye and I actually realise you know I've actually made the eyes too big so I do go out do go over it and alter it a little bit more and uh, the blue of the eyes are a little bit you know too blue her eyes were wa washed out in this colour uh, at this time in her life and um, you know not as striking blue as they once were but that's the way you know that's what happens as you get older beauty fades shoot <laughs> um, so yeah and we're going there what was I saying oh yeah and Julie Andrews as well it was a real um, buzz for my husband to be there at the same time as Julie Andrews because he was, she was his uh, um, childhood crush. You know, when you have a crush on a an actor or, or an actress or a famous person, that she was his crush. So he was super, super excited and happy <laughs> to be receiving his honour at the same time as uh, Julie Andrews received her honour too. So um, yeah, just a little bit of a. Uh, a bit with the Queen and um, um, Prince Charles at a um, at an event as well. And he actually came and sat next to me and had a had a chat to me, so um, which was really nice. And then he walked away, and afterwards I said to my hubby, "I don't know who that guy was." <laughs> he came and sat by me and had a chat. I said, "But he was very nice." And he said, <laughs> "He said that's Prince Charles." I suppose I never really expected at the even though I knew Prince Charles would be at the event. I actually never really expected Prince Charles to come and sit next to me and have a chat. Uh, it, it, must have, it must have been really strange for him, you know, to be sat down by, by the side of me. And I didn't recognise him because why would I? Um, you know, why would I recognise him if I'm not really expecting that Prince of Wales, as he was at that time, would come and sit to me and have a chat? <laughs> but there you go. That's a few of my uh, royal stories. I do have several more, but what shall I tell you? I don't know. I met the Queen, the Queen Mother, before she died, and um, and what struck me <laughs> is uh, apart from you know I'm not a tall person myself. I'm I'm only a short person myself. Is um, how tiny she was. Super super short. Really really tiny. And uh, she came along, and we all had to do our curtsy to her, and. And, and say mom <laughs> as in jam mom <laughs> and um and she just held your fingertips and uh and and you shake hands with her by her fingertips and then when she'd have a nap she'd give you a little 
flick a little push away and um and then she'd move on but uh, but what i noticed about her were her shoes were too big for her and um and she had plasters on on the heels <laughs> of her feet what a thing to notice you know it's like that there's you know the queen mother and all i can notice is that uh, her shoes are too big and she has plasters on the heels of her feet <laughs> now apart from now yeah. just another little little story of uh, when i met the um the royal family she was also lovely as well but um yeah practicing our curtsy and then saying ma'am as in jam <laughs> that'll stay with me forever that will because you always thought i always thought it was marm M-A-R-M, marm, but it wasn't, it was ma'am, as in jam. <laughs> uh, so now you will be going away going, ma'am, jam, jam, ma'am. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so so uh, I'm hoping that this is now beginning to look a little bit like the the queen. May God rest her soul. And, uh, and a likeness, at least, and so that... A likeness enough that you can recognise who she is, and uh, yeah, I did struggle a little bit with the that because of the eye, you know, I didn't get that eye correct to begin with, and so of course that does put your picture off a little bit. But um, I hope it's good enough, and uh, so that's enough of my waffle, my waffling on for now. <laughs> I was hoping to, um, I was hoping, oh maybe I will, maybe I'll just stick with it and talk all the way through, and not add any music. Uh, but so there you go so I'm using a um, yeah I wish I hadn't done this now <laughs> I wish I hadn't outlined in ink you know I'm not sure whether it makes it or not you know I was undecided and uh, sort of started doing it and then I was thinking oh no it doesn't look right let me know what you think does it look right doesn't it look right I'll be interested to know what you think you know should, should I have left it without the ink on and um and yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I made a half-hearted attempt to do it. Maybe I should have gone around all of it, but because I started doing it and then I really hated um, what I'd done. And so, you know, I thought, oh, best leave it alone. But I just couldn't help myself. I think part of it was that I'd used the, I picked up the thicker um, nib. I should have used the thinner nib and it, I think it would have been okay then. But anyway, so... Just putting in a little bit of background, just you can see I didn't finish off the top of the, the crown of her hat. Um, I'm suggesting that it's there with um, the the blue, the background blue I'm putting on there. I'm suggesting that the hat's there and leaving the rest of it to your imagination. And um, she's got quite white hair rather than grey hair. But I think, yeah, I think you can tell who it is from there. Well, I hope you can anyway. And uh, I want to say thank you for watching. See you all again very soon and wherever you are on your journey in life, please do travel safely. Bye.